Pterodactyl here, and today I got a hack for one of these Chinese side-by-sides, a Kazuma Mammoth 800. But this will also work for some other side-by-sides that have that fuel pump that's in the fuel tank. Because I've seen online where a lot of people are like, I can, I'm having a hard time finding a fuel pump for, for my side-by-side. -side. They don't make it and I don't know which one to use. So all you need is one of these external low pressure 12 volt fuel pumps, which you can buy online for $20 or less. And the reason you need one of these low pressure ones is because it's a carbureted machine. It's got a carburetor on it, so you don't need high pressure. Most of these in tank fuel pumps are for like car, automotive, that are fuel injected and are high pressure. You don't need high pressure, you need low pressure. This one's between like two and four PSI. So you can buy one of these. And it's like, eh, how do I do that, Carol? That's very simple, I'm gonna show you. So you remove the old fuel pump off of the, the tank unit that goes inside the tank. And then you're gonna wanna get yourself some of this either yellow or the stuff I use is called True Blue from Sten since I'm a Sten's dealer, but you can get that Tigon. This is quarter inch fuel line. Now you want to use the clear plasticky type fuel line. You don't want to use rubber quarter inch fuel line because the inside fuel line, if you notice, if you look real close, it's like two layers. The inside is a different rubber than the outside. So if you use this, it'll work for a while, but then it kind of gets spongy because it's in the gas. You know, this thing is hanging in the gas and if you fill the tank up, it's, it's soaked in the gas. So you want to kind of use this stuff. And so what I did is I cut me a long piece longer than I needed, you know, because this went on here like this, and this sock was in the bottom. So I cut it longer, and then I put an in-tank chainsaw fuel filter on the end. This is a fuel filter that goes in a chainsaw. This is, this is for a still chainsaw. And see, it's got a weight built into the bottom. This is an Oregon one, and there's the part number. Or you can look up a, a still fuel filter because it's got a quarter inch fitting on it for the quarter inch fuel line. So when I put this in the tank, this kind of sits on the bottom of the tank like that sock did. And then this is a return line. So when you turn the electric fuel pump on, it pumps the fuel and then when it fills up the carburetor, it returns it back to the tank through this line here. And then you simply just cut the wires. So as you can see, this green wire is a ground wire because it's going to the ground part of here. And then this was the 12 volt power wire, which went to the fuel pump. So you just cut those wires and then on your new fuel pump, see it tells you positive and negative. Black is usually your ground and red is usually your power. So since I wanted to use the original connector, I just hooked the green wire to the ground and the white wire to the positive. And then, you're gonna wanna get one of these type of fuel filters. Cause you see how this fuel filter is? It's quarter inch here and it's 5 sixteenths here. So you got two different sizes on here. Because on this Kazuma, and this fuel pump is like an automotive type fuel pump, the fittings on this fuel pump are 5 sixteenths. So I went to the auto parts store and got me some 5 16 fuel line. So 
So that way, see this fitting here is 5 16 So this is gonna go on here, like this. And then I got 5 16 coming out to the fuel filter, which has got an arrow on it. The fuel flow going this way. And then on the carburetor on this Kazuma, is quarter inch going to the carburetor. Now this return line is a different size. It kind of looks like quarter inch. So well, I guess it is quarter inch. I thought it was different, but it is. I thought it was maybe that Honda size. But you can also get that Honda size fuel line in case you have a side-by-side -side that uses that slightly smaller than quarter-inch fuel line. Here's some Briggs fuel line here. This is quarter-inch. All lawnmowers use quarter-inch fuel line. Cars use 5 16 And then Honda uses a slightly different size, a little bit smaller. So I can give you the part number for that. This is a Stenz box of fuel line. There's the Stenz part number. Just in case the return line on your side by side is starting to deteriorate and you want to replace it with some good fuel line and and maybe you know quarter inch is, is too big but I guess quarter inch will work fine for this one. I thought it was this Honda size but yeah it's bigger. So this is what you need to do if you got one of those in-tank fuel pumps that failed and you're struggling to find out how you're going to hook up another fuel pump. So we're going to take this out on the Kazuma and we're going to hook it up and I'm going to show you that it does work. So I'm going to drop this in the fuel tank. Line up my my screw holes. So I got this mounted back in the tank. Here's my fuel line, which is quarter inch now, going back into the carburetor. Here's my return line coming out of the carburetor that goes back to the fuel tank and then here's my existing wire uh, connector that I disconnected. Now I'm going to get a little jar to show you that this is the return line. So I'm going to turn on the key. Hear the pump pumping? Filling up the carburetor and see, this is the return line. See how the gas is returning to the tank. Now as you can see, this fuel line here is kind of poor material, so I'll replace this with some new quarter inch fuel line. And then of course, you're gonna wanna find a good spot to mount your fuel pump, which I'll do later on mine. But just to show you that this is going to work, I just got it rigged up this way temporary. Fire it up, fire it up, fire it up. Pull out my choke. I need a belt. My belt's squealing. That's all you need to do to hook up an auxiliary 12 volt low pressure fuel pump on one of these uh, Chinese side-by-sides in case you got the one that goes in the tank. 
you got to remember, sometimes you got to think outside the trailer to do these repairs. And that's what you got to do. Think outside the trailer. So, subscribe to this YouTube channel. Terrell Fixes All. This is me, Crazy Hillbilly, working on this Kazuma side-by-side. -side. Follow me with your Chinese side-by-sides on Facebook and Instagram. Hey, hey, don't run me over with that side-by-side. -side. Go to our web store, buy some Terrell apparel and other stuff we got there. And as always, there's your dinner. Woo! Fuel pump hack for the Kazuma side by side. Woo! 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 Now all I gotta do is put a new belt on it and put the transmission back in. <laughs>